Welcome to another Weigh In Wednesday, where each Wednesday I share the tale of my scale, and most important, I share something that will hopefully help you on your wellness journey. So, I do need to clear one thing up. I did not write an article for Couch Kills last Wednesday or share the tale of my scale. So let me get that updated real quick. Um, I last week lost two pounds. Okay, I lost two pounds which brought me down to I needed to lose about 80 pounds to get to my ultimate BMI that I want to get to before I run the New York City Marathon in November of 175 pounds. It would be a lot easier running the marathon at 175 pounds. Um, today, on Wednesday, the 20th, I dropped another two pounds. So I'm down in the lower 250s, which is great. I can't wait to get back into the 240s and 30s and 20s and keep going. Um, but one of the things that I had set as a goal uh, a few weeks ago was that I wanted to get down to 199 pounds by my 58th birthday, which is now only 66 days away, which means to get there, I need to lose 54 pounds. That is not going to be easy, but it's not crazy and it's not impossible. But it's going to require me to lose about five and a half to six pounds each week um, over the next, I guess that's, mm, I think that's about nine weeks. Um, so it's going to require me being really on point with my calorie consumption, the quality of the calories that I eat, my hydration, my continued exercise, and I may need to what I call bookend my exercise. So you see me running in the morning and doing some incline treadmill. Uh, I need to probably add some um, more strength training and probably an evening session um, doing something, maybe Stairmaster or something, some more cardio instead of being in front of the TV in the evening. So that's going to help me get that five, five and a half to six pounds, uh, which for my size and for my BMI, it's not crazy. I mean, I still have plenty of fat to get rid of on my body. So I'm committed to doing that. So this week, once again, uh, what I want to be able to share with everybody is, and you've heard me say this before, if you've read my book, Smartphone Fit, or you've seen me talk or post or whatever, the whole journey of wellness is about progress and not perfection. Last week, I weighed in, but I didn't you know, put it out there for no particular reason. I got very busy, and I just didn't do it. But it really bothered me because I really saw there was a gap in my, in my integrity of, of saying I was going to do something, and then I didn't. And I found that really... Keeping your word to yourself is more important than anything else than what you're exercising and eating because if you start to get used to exercising, keeping your word, your integrity, your truth, it really helps everything else happen. So when you don't do that, there's like a missing that, that tends to happen. So I have to recommit to being my word to make sure that every Wednesday I am posting the article, the weight, so you can count on me doing that going forward. So next week, you will see me dropping about five and a half to six pounds, maybe more. I don't know. But I have to do that to really get to the goal that I want to be able to do. And like I said, it will be safe. I'm not doing anything crazy. Um, I, you know, I'm going to be eating plenty of nutrient-dense foods, just watching my portions a little bit more and increasing my exercise. Um, but I got to tell you, I feel incredible. I feel great. It's been amazing starting to run since the beginning of the year. And even though I had a couple of stops and starts with my tooth and stuff like that, the running, uh, my head is in the place, my body's feeling good. I'm really looking forward to this uh, second New York City Marathon. So for now, that is it. And um, I hope you read the article as well. And I will talk to you guys next Wednesday. Tag, you're it.